when it comes to sports in Spain, football is king. It's the most popular sporting activity in the country, and its people are among the most ardent football lovers in the world. So it's incredibly difficult for other sports to take the spotlight away from the country's national game. Despite its overwhelming presence in Spain, however, the country has begun to warm up to badminton, thanks to the exploits of one woman, Carolina Marin. With two-time world champion blazing a trail on the global stage, badminton is slowly but surely making its presence felt in Spain. Carolina has been uh, our main driver, and uh, that means that uh, there are a lot of people who are having a lot of interest to know more about badminton and particularly to try to play. So for us, for the development of uh, badminton in Spain, uh, the success of Carolina is uh, helping a lot. Yeah, definitely football is maybe the, the sport to follow in terms of attraction. But uh, I really believe that badminton has a lot of potential. It's a very spectacular sport and uh, it's a very fast sport. And I believe that people who play enjoy a lot and uh, they continue playing. The racket sport was in the public eye recently when Madrid hosted the Spanish International, a tournament that boasts a long history with the first competition held in 1974. The event uh, started in uh, Madrid, but then we moved to different cities. But the last uh, 12 edition of the event uh, has been organized here in, in Madrid. And uh, well, it's a uh, a, lo a long uh, history and uh, we are very proud of uh, uh, the evolution of the, of the Spanish Open. We are now in the best uh, time of this tournament. Uh, when we started uh, it was um, a different level of tournament. Now we have an international challenge and we have a lot of uh, countries uh, which uh, are have participated in the last edition, particularly last year when we were part of the Olympic qualification. In its 29th edition, the Spanish International is the tournament for Spanish shuttlers, especially for those keen on gaining international exposure. And for up-and-coming talent, more often, it's where they get their first taste of foreign competition at the senior level. The Spanish International, also known as the Spanish Open here, is where we make our key assessments each year. We look at where our players stand compared to the international field and evaluate their performance. It's a good measure of where our players are compared to others at the international challenge level, so this tournament is very significant for us. The accolades of Marin on the global stage has spurred the growth of badminton in the country. And with her lofty but realistic ambitions of gold at the 2016 Rio Olympic Games, interest in the sport has also picked up across the nation. The, the last two uh, gold medals in the World Championships has been something very impressive, uh, particularly because he's uh, coming from a a country where badminton is not uh, quite famous, uh, but uh, we have been working very hard during the last 15 years to uh, achieve this uh, international result and to be ready for Rio and uh, hopefully we can really achieve uh, a medal and Carolina will uh, win uh, a medal and hopefully a gold medal in, in the Olympics which will be fantastic for the future development of our sport. I'm sure that after that, if finally we achieve it, uh, badminton uh, will grow very, very fast. And while Spaniards keep a close eye on Marin during the Olympics this month, Spain Badminton Federation is already gearing up for the next major badminton event in the country. In November, the World Junior Mixed Team and Individual Championships will be held in Bilbao, and it's another golden opportunity for the sport to shine in Spain. Well, that's a really uh, a good opportunity for badminton in Spain again. It's a, a, a new region as well where we are going to organize an international event, and it's really to see how the 
next starts, the next badminton international players uh, will be there. And uh, it's also a good opportunity for our badminton talented players to participate and hopefully to get a good uh, result. Bilbao is a city with high purchasing power, with big businesses and institutions that support sports because they know that sports is a way of generating exposure and money. Thanks to badminton, they see the junior championships as an important opportunity to market the city and their brands to the world. Thus, having the event in Bilbao is great for us, as it's one of the few regions in Spain we have yet to develop badminton. And we want to leave a legacy in the north of Spain. We want to develop the sport there, as it's a very important Spanish territory with huge potential in their people and resources. These are exciting times for Spanish badminton. The sport is fast developing, and it won't be long before Spain produces another world-class star. For now, though, the nation waits expectantly for Carolina Marin to bring home Spain's first Olympic gold in badminton. <laughs>